Today you're going to read two stories, Sirens, Scylla, and Charybdis, and The Cattle of the Sun God. I'm going to give you the directions from the college prep edition, but the honors edition actually has the same directions in it until the middle part, and then I will show you where the directions split. So the narrative focus for this, these two stories is point of view and foreshadowing. Your learning objectives is you will be able to use annotation to help you make meaning from poetry, explain how a character's point of view contributes to the reader's perspective and understanding, and identify foreshadowing as a narrative technique. So story eight, Siren, Scylla, and Charybdis, is, it comes from book 12. In the next section of the Odyssey, the Odyssey, Odysseus encounters two mythical creatures, the Sirens and Scylla and Charybdis. The Sirens are harpies, half bird and half woman, like you see here the bird portion and then the woman portion, and sing to the men as they sail by. Their songs are irresistible and deadly. Scylla and Charybdis are sea monsters. Scylla is a woman who was poisoned at sea and turned into a deadly monster with six snake-like heads and 12 tentacle legs. Beautiful. Uh, while Charybdis is a large monster also, but she makes a whirlpool with her mouth that helps her to swallow things in the sea in order to feed. So she eats um, dolphins and porpoises and men if, they, if she swallows an entire ship of men. So here's what you're going to do. Step one is just to read the piece through once, and it does help if you read it aloud. Step two, this portion of the story is told from Odysseus's point of view, or also we call it POV. While you read this version of the story, highlight the vivid descriptions and imagery that Homer uses to, depi use to depict Odysseus's point of view. So his point of view doesn't actually begin right at the beginning because the very first part of it is actually Circe. He's quoting Circe. So Odysseus and his men return to Circe's island where Circe warns him of the perils that await him. The following passage is told by Odysseus, still speaking in Alcinous court, and he is quoting Circe. So you'll notice that when you read this first part, see that it's in the quotation marks. All of this is Circe all the way until I think I went past it <laughs> until here. Um, until the Ithacan set off. Okay, so when it ends with the death of all your men, that's Circe um, and where she ends. So you'll start highlighting after this. This is where he says, my friends, and he actually starts speaking about his tale. So you'll start highlighting his point of view. You're going to look for really rich imagery and details to help you know what the story is, is all about. So you'll look for anything from his perspective. What was the encounter like for him um, going through this section with all three monsters, the Sirens, Scylla, and Charybdis? So you'll do that for, um, all through this section, and it goes until the end. And then step three, this is where things will change slightly. This first part here will all be the same for both college prep and honors. You will read this question and answer this based upon the highlighting, the highlighting you did of the vivid descriptions and imagery to depict his point of view. And you're only going to be answering a question about the sirens. But then this is where it's different. This question here is asked for college prep. Imagine you're one of the sirens, Scylla or Charybdis, watching Odysseus' ship sail by. How might your perspective be different and how might you view the situation differently? Honors, what you're going to do is you're going to watch this screencast, which provides you directions of what you're going to do for your point of view, which will include reading a poem and answering some questions. Then when you're done with Siren, Sil, and Charybdis, you're going to go on to the Cattle of the Sun God, which is story nine and book 13. Step one is a pre-reading activity, and you will be exploring this picture over here that depicts the events of the story. Notice how one of Odysseus's men and one of the cows are looking directly at us. What do they seem to express? What else do you notice? Predict what this chapter is about based upon your observation of the picture. Please write two to three complete sentences and put those answers in this box below. Then step two is as you read the Cattle of the Sun God, highlight where the text foreshadows. Foreshadowing is a literary device which, in which a writer gives an advance hint of what is to come later in the story. So you are highlighting where the text foreshadows that something will go wrong on the island. Look for the warning signs that the men are not going to follow the God's warning. So you're going to read through and do those highlights all throughout the story. It's very straightforward, the Cattle of the Sun God. 
And then when you get to the end, you're going to do this post reading activity. You'll click on this video link and watch a short clip that summarizes and analyzes book 12. And then you're gonna explain why this chapter is about loyalty and trust. Please write four to five complete sentences and write in this text box below. And then you're done. I hope you have a great day.